Great, so now you've got people to take every single step on your funnel, and now they're at their final stage, which is the sale. So once again, you could have upsold them instantly and already made a profit from your Instagram followers using the instant upsell. But what I'm gonna show you here now is a sale event or a sale offer, which you can essentially consider the third call to action in the funnel. It's the one that separates call to action two and the money coming in. So it's call to action three and the call to action this time is going to be for them to make a purchase. Before I dive into the basic principles of making a sale, I wanna highlight that this is an Instagram course and if you really want to get the best out of your email marketing, I strongly recommend that you pick up an email marketing course and go through that because that will work wonders for your business and really convert the amount of people who are on your email list to buyers and ultimately convert the bottom line of your profit. So if I was gonna point you in a direction, I would point you to Jeff Walker's book called Launch and it shows you exactly how to warm up an email lead. So get them familiar with your business all the way to through to selling your product with the right characteristics built into the email, such as scarcity. So I strongly recommend you check out Jeff Walker's book, Launch. I also have my good friend, Ben Altman, in the next lecture, give you more specific details into how he does his email marketing and email launches, which they've made multiple thousands of dollars from. So that's coming up in the next lecture. But right now, I'm gonna focus on the basic principles and how you can turn your email list into dollars, even if it's not the most effective way. So here we are with the sale. So similar to the other call to actions, so I want you to ask yourself, what value could you offer your email list in returns for making them a paying customer. So what crazy deal could you offer them? Or what awesome value can you offer them within the sale of your product or service that is almost a no-brainer for them to buy? Because even if your profit is as little as $1, you've turned an email lead into a paying customer who experiences your products and experiences your services and likes you as a business and will be happy and will come back and spend many more dollars with you. So. You really want them to take the first step and buy something. So make sure you have a product and an offer in mind for what you're gonna email them for. To sell the offer, just simply put it in email form. So say, check out our website. We're having a one day flash sale on makeup brushes. You can get them all for 35% off. Follow this link. Link it to your sale page and people will be able to take that call to action and buy your products from there. A really cool strategy that a lot of businesses use is multi-channel marketing. So it's coupling your email promotions such as this makeup brush discount offer with a targeted Instagram post. So in the mindset section of this module, I told you never to hard sell on Instagram, but it is really cool if you could post a discount coupon to your products in conjunction with this email. So if one of your users who have been through your entire funnel signs up to your email list, logs into their Gmail account and sees your email promotion, they may not be ready to buy yet, but then they log into Instagram and they can see your Instagram post, which is the exact same promotional sale as in the email. They're gonna be familiar with it, they're gonna think twice, and then they're gonna buy. So multi-channel marketing is really cool. You can do this across all your social media platforms and your email address. Remember, the highest converting medium is always gonna be email. So if you've never done email marketing before and you don't wanna pick up Jeff Walker's book, I recommend that you just give the email list an opportunity to buy. Even if your email is only a few sentences long, give them the opportunity with a link to buy your product via email and have it staged as an event. People want to buy events, they don't want to buy discounted products. So it could be a one day flash sale, it could be a super weekend special, whatever it is, have an event sale and advertise that in multiple channels in order to get the most benefit and the most money out of your sale. So with the basics down and the basic two principles down, I'm gonna lead into my friend Ben Altman telling you more specifically how to run an email campaign and he also suggests some great resources here. Just a quick note before we jump in, Ben runs a personal development business called Charisma On Command, awesome, an awesome business if you wanna check it out. But if you have physical goods or physical services that aren't digital like Ben's, it's still fine to do the exact same processes, you just have to tweak one or two things. So without further ado, here's Ben to talk more specifically how you should 
email market to your list in order to convert them to sales.